perfect coordination. Yet these dancers live in a world without sound. Lead dancer Wei Yuji. She's just 16 years old, one of a selected few chosen to train with the China Special Art Troupe. The biggest challenge for us is that we can't hear the music. We need to practice a lot and learn how to coordinate. We have to use our hands and feel the music's beats to learn. This dance, called the Thousand Hand Guanyin, stunned an audience of millions in the closing ceremony at the Athens Paralympic Games. Timing is managed by stereo speakers, which are turned up. That causes a vibration the dancers can respond to. Then conductors help keep them in time. For some, though, deafness isn't the only obstacle. Luo Zhang Zhan has no arms. He lost them after he touched a high voltage cable when he was just seven years old. His dream is to perform for the Paralympics in Beijing. No matter whether it's China or anywhere else in the world, disabled people are a weak group. We want to perform on the Paralympic stage to demonstrate to the world that we disabled can live a good life too. Well, since forming in 1987, the troupe has performed in more than 40 countries and has raised nearly half a million pounds for disabled charities. Beijing organisers hope the Paralympics will improve conditions and raise awareness for the country's disabled people. Currently, in China's sprawling capital, just seven percent of the city's nearly one million disabled residents are actually working.